Hi, I'm Evelyn and today I want to talk to you about our beloved fountain pens. I wish you a good viewing and greet you with a hug. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Gianfranco and today we are talking about Caveco Collection Toyama Teal. Um, as far as I know, the name uh, was inspired by the bioluminescence uh, effect that uh, could be observed in the Toyama Profe Prefecture in Japan. Uh, this, represent, uh, this video represents a last call for uh, all Kaveco fan and collectors uh, because uh, as any uh, collection series, the time for getting one is limited and uh, this model uh, with this color has been produced for 2023. This pen comes out of the box uh, with rhodium plated uh, uh, trims um, and has a um, very interesting color that change uh, with the light uh, showing shades uh, uh, of lighter blue uh, together with uh, uh, much more deeper blue colors. Uh, um, in video is not beautiful as uh, in person. As any Caveco Sport series, uh, if you are uh, not familiar with this brand, uh, is made out of plastic. It's really light and very, very small uh, because it was conceived for people uh, with a high piece during their old days and for sport, uh, for who was practicing sport uh, in the late 30s. Uh, this kind of pen is a cartridge converter uh, char uh, charging system and it was filled with the Pelican Edelstein Moonstone Ink of the Year 2020. The nib is fine in gradation, is a very nice nib uh, made by Boch. Um, and works really well. Uh, let me get the Clairefontaine sketchbook. Okay, and let's see how it works. Um, it's so light that uh, I'm posted uh, and is so small and so light that I'm posted is uh, useful if you need to get a quick note maybe on the go uh, otherwise I do really suggest to work posted it doesn't change the balance of the pen and make it a little bit more comfortable for long writings so I will use posted Caveco Sport Collection Toyama Teal. It comes with a steel F fine nib uh, and the ink is the pelican Edelstein moonstone in a shade of grey it works uh, really well no skipping uh, no no issues Mm, you have a um, really small line variation with pressure that mm, but it's a rigid pen the 
Reverse Nib is not the best uh, in this category. But it seems that Incalco made a good job on grinding it. The F is uh, an honest uh, F gradation of the nib. Uh, is an, in, uh, it is a European nib size, so uh, a Japanese fan of pens may find it a little bit uh, close to a fine medium. Anyway, this pen uh, as a really reasonable price uh, it works very well for daily use uh, I have many of them uh, uh, in my drawer uh, at job um, I think is a good pen for scholars uh, high school scholars uh, but also for people in movement um, I do really like this brand and this lineup uh, because uh, you can uh, try to build a small collection, a small colorful collection of pen, of fountain pens with uh, good quality uh, for a very cheap price. So uh, what, what, are you, what are you waiting for? Get one by the end of the year. See you next time.